Today, I'm gonna show you three different ways to put text behind elements. Two of them are for the free version of DaVinci Resolve, and the other is for the studio version. So you can do it in the way that best suits you and your video. That being said, we can start. Here, we have a video of a time-lapse with a bit of camera movement. My intention is to put the text right behind these buildings. First of all, we're going to right-click on our video and select Copy. We're going to duplicate this video. Now we paste the same video on the timeline. Perfect. We already have duplicated the clip. For now, we're going to forget about the second clip that we just created. We'll use it later. We're going to focus only on the first clip. We must direct go to the color module of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, here we have the first video clip. Now we click on a node and then we go to the window icon. This menu will appear to make masks. For example, if we click on the square mask, it will appear this rectangle in the viewer. Click on the highlight icon to be able to see only the selection of the mask. It would be exactly the same if we choose the circle mask. Well, in this example, we're going to select the mask that has the feather icon. This mask is done completely manually. Using it is very easy. Zoom in on the viewer to make it easier for you to make the mask. You just have to left click and see following the shape of the buildings so we can have a mask of all the buildings. Okay, I'm going to give you a little spoiler about how easy it would be to do this in DaVinci Resolve Studio. We make this blue doodle above the buildings and we're done. If we have the free version, you have to make the mask manually. There is no other. The final step to be able to finish the manual mask is to join the last point with the first point that we've created. Finished mask. Now we must do the tracking so that the mask follows the movement that's in the video. To do this, we have to go to the tracker menu. And then we click on this icon with two arrows. As we can see, the mask is following the movement that's in the video. Now it will only take a few seconds. When it finishes, we check that everything is well. Perfect. If we activate the highlight, we'll also see that we have selected only the buildings. The next step is to make this video just the mask that we've made. That is, just have the mask of the city and erase all the sky. To make this, we have to go to the nodes. We right click and we add alpha output. When adding an alpha output, this little blue circle will appear here. Now we can delete the sky. We just have to click on the blue square of the node in which we have made the mask and connect it with the alpha output. As we can see, the sky has disappeared and now we only have the selection of the mask. If we do a little zoom and we deactivate power window of the viewer, I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see it better. If you pay attention, the edges of the mask are not smooth. To be able to soften the edges and make them look better, we have to go to the menu of masks and increase the attenuation a bit. But without going too far, setting it to 0.1 usually goes well. It's time to go back to the editing module. Now in the timeline, we will have the video where only the buildings appear and the copy that we've made previously. We have to do the following. We click on the first video and move it up two positions on the timeline. Then we move the second video below everything. In the middle, there should be a free space since here is where we will put the text. Let's go with the final part. Go to the effects menu, then display the toolbox. Click on the title section. We click on text, drag it on the timeline right in the middle of the two video clips. We adjusted the duration of the text clip so that it lasts the same as the city video. Perfect. Now you just have to customize the title. Go to the title section and here we can change the text. Write what you want. I'm going to put London. We increase the size of the letters to make it as big as possible. And we can also change the font family. In settings, we can easily modify the position of the text. 
And we are done with the first way of putting text behind objects. In this example, we have used masks to be able to put the text behind the buildings. But now I'm going to teach you how to do it in a totally different way without using masks. For this example, we have a scene with high contrast in light or in the colors. Explaining in a simple way, the blue color of the sky in this video is totally different from the color of the ground and of the person. For example, this clip would be perfect. Now I'm going to show you other examples that would go well. In this other video, we have a high contrast of light. The sky is very bright and the desert area and the person is much darker. Here, more of the same, blue sky and the part of the ground and the person with totally different colors. Keep in mind that in the part of the ground, there can be no blue color. Okay, I think that this part has already been clear. Now we're going to see how it's done. The same as in the previous method, here we must also duplicate the video clip. We copy and paste in the timeline. We go to the color module of DaVinci Resolve. Now we click here to open the menu of qualifier. These icons above here are different ways to select parts of our video. We have HSL, selection by hue saturation, and luminance, RGB. Select only by luminance, and finally 3D. I recommend using this last method since it's the one that usually gives the best results. Before starting, we must make sure that this picker icon is activated as well as the function of qualifier. Perfect. Now you just have to left click on the sky area of the video, hold down and paint the whole sky with this thin blue line. Great. To see our selection, we just have to click on the highlight icon up here. We see that the whole sky is selected, but we're interested in having the part of the ground and the person. So we are going to invert the selection. Okay. Once we've selected the person and the part of the ground, if we zoom in a bit, we can see that the edges have a blue line. If you want to fix this, I recommend you increase the level of the pre-filter and clean black so that the blue border will decrease a little. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to select using this function with the other examples of video. Click on the 3D icon. We select the whole sky and finished. We invert the selection and then we fix the errors on the edges. With the next video the same, we select the part of the blue sky and we invert the selection. If having made the selection, we see that the blue color of the sky is still present in the video, we have to click on this qualifier icon with the plus symbol so we can add more parts to our selection. If instead of using the qualifier with the plus symbol, you use the normal selector, you lose all the selection that you had made before. Now we go with the final steps to be able to put the text in the background. We right click in the nodes panel, we add an alpha output, and then we connect the node that we have modified with the alpha output that we just created. We see that the background has disappeared and we only have the ground with the person. Nice. Now we must go to the editing module. In the editing module, we have the video without the background and the copy that we've made previously. We select the video clip without the background and we move it three positions up on video track three. Now we select the other clip and we put it below on video track one. Very well. Now it's time to add a text on the middle track. We go to effects and choose the effect of text, click and drag it to video track two. We adjust the duration of the text clip so that it lasts the same as the video clips. Finally, we're going to modify the title. We change the text and the font family. We choose the color and we increase the size. We've already managed to put the text behind the person and the ground. That easy. We go with it last method. This can only be done in the studio version. As in the other two methods, the first step is to duplicate the clip. To do this, we copy and paste. We click on the first video, and then we go to the DaVinci Resolve color module. This time, we'll use the magic mask function to make the masks. Click on the magic mask icon. 
make sure you have the qualifier function activated. Making masks has never been so easy. Left click on the element you want to make the mask and you see drawing this blue line above it. The more you select with this blue line, the better as it will help DaVinci Resolve to understand where to make the mask. Perfect, it would already be finished. Activate the Toggle Mask Overlay icon. Now you can see the mask that we have made highlighted in red. In the Quality section, I always recommend changing to Better. Now, if we change the frame of the video, we can see that the mask disappears. That's because we only have the mask made in one frame of the video. This blue line is where we've made the mask. We have to make the mask throughout the video. We must do the tracking. Just click on this icon with the two arrows and DaVinci Resolve will start tracking automatically. It won't take long. We wait a bit and that's it. I zoom in a bit and now we check that the mask is correct throughout the video. Okay, it seems that's perfect. The last step, I'm sure it looks familiar. Right click on the nodes, add an alpha output, and connect the little blue square of the node where we've made the mask to the alpha output. Now to see the results, disable the icon toggle mask overlay. We see that we actually only have a mask of the person and we have eliminated all the background. Then we return to the editing module. You should already know how to do this, but I'll remind you. We upload the video that has no background to the video track three. Select the second clip and place it below. Finally, we go to effects. We click on text and drag it in the middle of the two videos. We place it in video track two. Now simply configure the text to your liking and you would already have the title behind the person. You already know three ways to put text behind elements. Which one do you prefer? If you want to learn many more things about DaVinci Resolve, here I leave you a series of videos that will help you. And that's all for today. See you in the next video.